What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my free-to-play account. In this video, we're going to be talking about some important things for my free-to-play account. Also, I'm going to be choosing a hero to get to 11 of 11 because I've just started accumulating so many rocks that it's like, okay, I don't want to just stack these up. I want to actually get use out of them and destiny up some heroes to 11 of 11. So I'm definitely going to talk about or choose which hero I think I should send up and then obviously send that hero up. But first, I wanted to get into the discount store today. All you free-to-play players out there, do not forget or on iOS. I don't know if it's on Android today or not, but if you're on iOS, I know it is. And you guys need to make sure y'all check this out. Just take a quick peek. There are 10 talent refresh cards sitting here for 1,000 gems. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, that's not a good deal. No, it's a good deal, okay? It's a good deal. Here's why. You can simply just go in the quest log like we have right here. We use one talent refresh and we get 300 gems. So essentially, that is basically, what is that? That is 3,000 gems for 1,000 gems and that's at 0% discount. So let's go ahead and use this because I do need a talent for Dove Keeper. And here is Unholy Pack. Nope, there's Sprint. But either way, that gives us another 300 gems for that free to play. And that's what we're looking for. And this also happened to happen by perfect timing as well. Because honestly, I'm almost out of talent refresh cards. Now, I might be buying these 10 as well. So we got a total of... How many gems do I have? 2,300 gems. But luckily, I have 16,000 ch chilling here in the back in case we need those. Come on, baby. We want to see like 50% or more right now. Come on. Because either way... I mean, man, I feel like I have to almost buy both of these things. This is just so nice. But 10, uh, it's just 3,000 gems. I don't know. I don't think I want to waste that, that many gems. I might be buying this. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh it up. What do we got coming, boys? Come on. Above 50%. Hook your boy up. 30%? A 30% ain't terrible. So we'll go ahead and take these for 700 gems. So we basically got 3,000 gems for 700 gems. We got to buy that all day long, no matter what the percentage is. Now, this... 2,000 shards for 100 gems? I mean, I think I gotta buy that too. I mean, that is a really good deal. 2,000 shards for 100 gems. So we snatched up 10 talent refresh cards. And oh yeah, and we get some more pet eggs too since we spent the gems. So not bad. So basically for, what is that? For like 12, or no, not 12. 800 gems we got... 2,000 shards, and on top of that, obviously, the new talent refresh cards, wherever those are. Let me see. Do I have anything in here I want to open up? I got some useless soulstone trunks that give us a bunch of trash that we do not care about. And, yeah, I don't have, like, any any of the hero cards or anything like that to even open up. So I think we're good to go ahead and get into the other events. We'll first use the calendar because that's what we need to um, get our heroes to 11 of 11 destiny. So we'll go ahead and collect this. We get the 60 Santa Boom Soul Stones, which are kind of like whatever. You know what I mean? It fits the Christmas theme, though. They give you Santa Boom because obviously it is a Christmas event and he was a Christmas hero. But the important thing is we get 18 of those Karamic Rock uh, ones. So that's freaking huge. We also have Uncover the Treasure today, which I've seen a lot on my new pay-to-play. We got that level 5. Man, we got a level 5 crest set from this. I'm wondering if I should spend the gems. We have spent a total of 815 gems. Is there anything else in this discount store that I can buy? Ooh, 2100. Nah, I don't think I can really buy that, though. Yeah, it's just too many gems. What else could I spend gems on to make it worth? Because I really want to get one Uncover the Treasure. Because that does bring out pretty good love to be honest with you guys yeah there's nothing really i can spend i guess we can just hire some heroes that's 1200 gems worth of freaking heroes to hire though for one uncover the treasure it might be worth it though if we do get nah 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 i don't quite think it's worth it not quite yet uh, we actually have thunder god's gifts today as well and we're about to snatch up commodore from this thank you nope it's always the consolation gift boy oh we could spend the money on this That'd be absolutely fail, though. We're not going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and get into Destiny. Now, let me go ahead and scroll through my heroes first just so we can see what heroes I even or are even an option of bringing to 11 of 11. First, I'll go over the heroes we already got to 11 of 11. So we got Pumpkin Duke 11 of 11. We also have, not Ares, we got Anubis to 11 of 11. We got Gunslinger at 11. We also have Walla Walla at 11. We got Athene at 10. So Athene's definitely an option. I need to get in there and see what Athene does at 11 of 11. We also have Sasquatch at 10 as well. So Sasquatch is an option. 
Dove Keeper's at 10 also, so Dove Keeper is an option, and Storm is an option. Now, one of those guys, I'm pretty sure, are my options. I'm not, oh, I guess Michael's an option too, depending on how good his buff is. Yeah, so Michael's definitely an option as well. So those are our options. We, we have five options. So what I wanted to do is go through each of these five heroes and check out what their what the difference is from 10 of 10 and 11 of 11. So obviously we'll go ahead and start out with the first one, which it looks like it is going to be Storm. So let's go ahead and get Storm to level 10. Just quickly pay attention to what his stats do. Normally what you'll see change from 10 of 10 to 11 of 11 to 12 of 12 is the percentages. Sometimes it'll reduce the amount of time, but it won't do anything crazy like make a hero auto proc. Not yet anyway, because that would be a crazy feature. Because imagine getting a Ghoulam to 12 of 12 and then all of a sudden Ghoulam becomes auto proc. That'd be kind of lit. All right, so at 10 of 10, we got 16, 80 damage. We also got three seconds and 12% of heroes max. That goes up 100%. Hero takes 68% less damage. That goes from 60 to 68%. The cooldown timer is 5 seconds. Does that change? No, it does not. All right, so I mean a little bit of upgrades here for Storm, but nothing like too impressive that like makes me think I'm going to have to choose him no matter what. So we got Dove Keeper at 10 of 10 is 260%. We got one Dove for 12 seconds. Hero takes 18,000 damage. We also got increases Dove Keeper's attack by 45%. So we got from 10 of 10 to 11 of 11 goes up 20%. Doesn't change any of that. And that stays at 45%. So the only thing that changes with Dove Keeper is 20% damage. Not going to be worth it on Dove Keeper. Sasquatch, I'm already pretty sure I know what he does. His cooldown goes down a whole second. So, I mean, we got damage 2040. Then we also got Stun and Fear 5 seconds. It's cooldown 7.5 seconds. So it goes from 2040 to 2100, which is pretty nice upgrade. 60% upgrade. But the main reason why you'd want to go with Sasquatch 11 is because his cooldown goes from 7.5 seconds to 6.5 seconds. I mean, that's freaking huge, especially since um, he stuns. I mean, he has a 3-second stun. So, I mean, yeah, if we want to go with Sasquatch, that's probably a fair choice. I'd be open to go with Sasquatch, no doubt about that. So, let's get into Athene. we got 270% damage on Athene. We also have increases five friendly heroes attack by 60%. And, yeah, I don't think the cooldown 6%. And I don't think any of that's going to change. Oh, yeah, friendly heroes also gain 52 energy each. That could change. Okay, no, it doesn't. So, we got from 270 to 290% damage. From 5 to 6 friendly heroes, attack speed goes from 60 to 65%, and the cooldown does not change. Alright, so I mean, that's a pretty decent buff, it, a whole extra hero, but where do we really use Athene in game modes that we need 6 or more heroes? Normally I only use Athene in Lost Battlefield, maybe in Dungeons? I guess in Dungeons we'd use 6 heroes, so... It'd be nice to get all heroes buffed if we do use a theme in dungeons for some sort of reasons. Or, in, it'd definitely be helpful in Forgotten Trial. No doubt about that. A whole extra hero gets all these buffs. So, I mean, a theme's a pretty strong option right here. In my opinion, it's probably, so far, it's either going to be Sasquatch or a theme. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't really want to go with Dove. I don't feel like Storm's really that much of a help. Who else do we have as an option? Oh, yeah, Michael. All right, let's see what Michael does. So, we got Michael at... 10 to 10, deflect 75% damage, also increases the attack of 6 allies, 60%, uh, oh wait, what, attack speed and attack of allied heroes by 60%, that's 6 heroes, the cooldown timer is 8 seconds, and the hero has a 50% chance of summoning Archangel, alright, what changes here? So this goes from 6 to 7 again, increases, wow, that's actually pretty insane, I didn't realize that, alright, so we go from 6 to 7 heroes, the amount changed is an extra 4% on attack and attack speed, which honestly is pretty nice. It looks like everything else changes uh, or stays the same. All right, so, I mean, we have three options here. It's either going to be Michael, it's going to be Athene, or Sasquatch. Wow, this is actually a really tough decision. So what I'm going to do is now I need to get in Destiny and see, like, who I can even Destiny up because there's a high chance that some of these guys, they could just be eliminated straight from not having enough heroes in Destiny to level them up. Alright, so we got nothing there. Where are these freaking heroes? Um, nope. Where are you guys at? Oh my gosh. Alright, there's Sasquatch right there. We could definitely level up Sasquatch. We got more than enough to do it to him. Where's Athena at? We got Heartbreaker. No. 
And, oh my gosh, sorry, I don't know where these heroes are at. Boys, oh, okay, so here we go. There's Storm and Athene and Michael. So Michael and Athene are both right here. So we could legit do any of the heroes that we wanted. Okay, so, man, what hero are we going to go with? I'm thinking probably, as for help right this minute, I don't really care about Forgotten Trial. If I did, I would definitely be going with Athene or Michael. I think I'm going to choose Sasquatch. Even though these guys help out with buffers, they're already buffing enough heroes for what I need them for, for this given time on my account so yeah we're gonna go ahead and choose michael we're gonna go ahead and get him right to 11 of 11 luckily we already have all the gold rated i don't even think we're gonna have to spend any or maybe we will we might have to spend okay so we need a little bit more gold we might have to spend some gems but not very many on uh i mean not gems some fame not very much on getting the blue um karmic rocks besides that we shouldn't have to spend any all right come on give me a two million gold back. okay this is perfect We'll take a million gold base. Do I think we have to use... I think we should have to use our snowstorm. We should be able to take all this guy's gold without it. Yes, we can. Thank you. I'll we'll take that. Give me all your gold. Now, let's go ahead and raid just one more base just to make sure that we have enough gold. Oh, I don't think we can take any of these vaults, though. He's got that skelly covering his vaults. Let's try to sideswipe him over here. We'll go ahead and freeze skelly now. Might be worth it if we... Oh, Walla Walla's already there. Okay, but well, we don't care about losing here. We just want to get some of those balls before the snowstorm comes up. We're going to lose our whole team. Come on. Oh, my gosh. All right, so... Well, 500,000 gold. That actually might be enough. All right, so let's get back in. Where's you bad Sasquatch? There he is. 1,200, 1,200. Don't be any more gold. Nice! All right, so that's what we needed right there. Oh, do we have a backup sash? No, we do not. All right, so we're actually going to have to spend fame for that, and we're going to have to spend for this, too. So we're going to have to spend 7,000 fame plus also another 1,500. So we had to spend 85... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 8,500 fame just to get him to 11 of 11. That is actually really expensive, and now we can keep on sending him up because we have plenty of blue crystals and plenty of honor badges on this account. Might as well buy one of these to send him up even higher because we can Wow, I'm going to go ahead and keep leveling this guy. Actually, I didn't realize we could get him this higher. Why not increase his stats if you have the capability of doing it, right? What did I need? Oh, sell honor badges? Yes, we have more than enough books on this account. 1,300 to be exact. So we'll go ahead and gain a quick million, eh, one and a half million honor badges on the free-to-play. And let's get back in. Level up Sasquatch a little bit more. Nice. We can keep on going and keep going. Nice, man. Sasquatch is looking really strong now. Super strong. So we got him all the way at 29 of 30. Now, if you guys don't know, the max this even goes is 40. So we got him looking pretty good right now. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, can we go even higher? No, we would need 20 of those. Plus also we need higher levels on pretty much all these heroes. That way we can even attempt to go higher. And you guys remember, or I just remembered something. I haven't collected these things on my free-to-play account in so freaking long. I probably just wasted fame on the blue things, on the blue rocks. That's okay. We'll go ahead and, that just means we'll be able to get our next hero to, oh my gosh, I can collect all three here, to 11 of 11 sooner than later. So we're probably going to either be choosing Michael or Athene, to be honest with you. What do we got here? We got some blues. That's nice. I think I might even have more of these to collect. I really don't know. I'm just going to have to scroll through and check right quick. No, no. Nope. All right. So we collected most of them. Okay. We collected all three of those. Collected that one. These are all the old ones. So yeah, we definitely collected that. Collected that as well. Anything from here? Collected all three of those. Very nice. I think that's everything. All right. Oh, well, nope. We got these to collect. All right. Nice. Wow. We ended up with a lot more rocks because um, I forgot to collect these from Destiny, honestly. So that's actually pretty big. Maybe for the Christmas event, they'll give us some more of those blue rocks. That way I can go ahead and send another hero to 11 of 11 without even having to use any fame for the rocks. Because honestly, in my personal opinion, I don't really feel like it's worth spending the fame for the rocks because there's so many ways to get the rocks now. But, I mean, I have a lot of fame in my warehouse too, so I'm not against spending the fame. But if you're like needing fame, whether or not you need to evolve a hero or get a hero to 11 of 11, the thing you're going to want to do is definitely evolve a hero. No doubt about that. Did I leave, leave anything else out on the free-to-play for today? I mean, we got, yeah, I don't think we have any other events. The discount store is done. We collected the calendar events. And we are good to go. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.